Welcome to KCS Quarterly Safety News, a video for KCS by KCS about KCS safety. At KCS, we hear it a lot. Safety is our number one priority. But do our actions reflect our words? Does safety start with you? Consistent with the KCS safety value, we all must demonstrate a commitment to safety for ourselves, our fellow employees, our customers, contractors, and any other guests on our property. In past episodes, we've explained and demonstrated KCS rules, policies, procedures, and safe work practices related to your day-to-day -day operations. But this episode is going to be a little different. Instead of reviewing rules about how to work safely, we're going to explain the operational testing process. To make certain that everyone is working safely, KCS is required to conduct operational tests. Simply put, operational tests measure rules compliance company-wide, and they are required by Federal Railroad Administration regulations. Specifically, railroads must periodically conduct operational tests to determine the extent of compliance with its Code of Operating Rules, Timetables, and Timetable Special Instructions. But government requirements are not the only reason operational tests are conducted at KCS. Operational testing is an important vehicle in our pursuit of safety excellence. Remember, safety excellence starts with you. It's making sure you and your coworkers are always performing duties correctly. No one is taking shortcuts. No rules are being overlooked. No one is complacent. And everyone goes home safely at the end of each shift. Operational testing is essential to the safety and success of KCS. Operational testing provides KCS with important information about day-to-day -day operations. Each department is required to conduct tests of their employees. The results of these tests provide field leaders with the opportunity to define, coach, and reinforce expectations of rule compliance and safe work practices. And for the employees who have exemplary safety efforts, this is an opportunity to recognize their efforts. All results from operational testing provide field leaders with the opportunity to give feedback and foster conversation. Results from operational testing can highlight areas that need improvement. Field leaders will use the results to develop plans intended to help ensure that the identified safety risks are monitored and corrective action is taken when necessary. Each KCS field leader has a monthly plan of testing to complete. These plans are specific to the territory and contain the minimum testing requirements for each team member each month. Field managers are required to complete a specific number of operational tests every month. It is important that everyone understands this. Field managers do not have a specific number of pass or fail tests per month. The operational testing plans are simply intended to help identify and communicate safety-related risks on a specific territory, across the KCS system or in the rail industry. Field managers are responsible for scheduling and conducting operational tests. This means that operational tests will occur at all hours of operation, specific to the department and location. So, first, second, or third shift, it doesn't matter. Operational tests will be conducted at all hours of the day, at any time of the month, including weekends. Operational tests must be performed under various operating conditions and must mimic realistic conditions as closely as possible. It is important that testing is conducted at different locations throughout the day and month. This helps ensure that testing is unpredictable and covers a range of employees from different stages of the workday. Testing may be completed in a variety of methods, observations made in the field, through locomotive event recorders, by listening to radio transmissions, or through the viewing of cameras. Chances are pretty high employees won't even know that testing is occurring, but that's good. We want that. Operational testing observes employees performing their duties in their normal work mindset. Even though employees aren't required to be notified of testing, it is required that test results are made available as soon as practical, but only when it is safe to do so. 
field managers will communicate test results by either face-to-face meetings, radio communications, or telephone conversations. Field managers are required to take the time to review the results of operational tests with each tested employee. Review sessions will begin by informing employee of the date, time, and location of the test and discuss which rules were tested. Then, employees will be told that their test results will be recorded into the Operation Testing System, or OTS. Field managers will review the test with the employee, giving positive reinforcement regarding what the employee did correctly. In cases where rules and procedures were not performed correctly, coaching will be provided. Field managers will also explain the importance of the rule or procedures and how it affects the employee's safety and the safety of others. Time will be allotted for the employee to give feedback on the test as well as other safety issues or concerns. This is your time to speak up and discuss any issues or questions you may have. In cases of test failures, the employee will be advised that a retest may be warranted and may occur within 72 hours. During the follow-up test, the field manager is to confirm the employee's understanding of the rule, reaffirm the leader's commitment to the employee's safety, and make certain the employee has no follow-up questions about the failure or any other safety concerns. Again, this is another opportunity to speak up. To view your operational tests, log in to PeopleStation from Inside Track. Then select Workplace Tools. From there, select PeopleStation. When you have reached the PeopleStation home screen, select the drop down arrow next to the button that says Home. From drop down list, click on Profile. Now look to the top of the screen. There's a yellow banner. Click on Operational Testing to be taken to the specific section. The page will load and show your operational testing records starting from the most recent tests conducted. Thanks for your attention today and every day. As you head back to the yard, into your shop, or out on the track, remember to follow all the KCS Cardinal rules. And always communicate with your team. Speak up and take care of each other. Do that, and we'll see you back here next quarter.